Greetings and welcome to Let's Play My Channel Logo. So, this is kind of vlog part two, <laughs> or take two. I tried to record something yesterday, and rather vlog, and near the end I was like, ah, fuck it, I'm not uploading this. But during the vlog, I realized I got a message on YouTube. Let me show you. There. Um. Let me read it for you. Hi Alana Way. I am founder of Went to Play and we are summarizing all possible negative information about Waxworks. We have got license for Waxworks Special Edition and if you could give us a list of things that bothered you or you were missing during a gameplay of the original game, that would be a great help. Please contact me anytime. Well, I would text the email address. Thank you. Well. Well, that's interesting. I, I'm flattered that people want my opinion on a game. But one of the first things I, well, the first thing I asked them is, if it, is it okay if I mention this message and ask my viewers about it? So, here we go. Ah, let me give you my opinion. <clears throat> um, first of all, I kind of can't remember every little detail about Waxworks. And this is kind of ad hoc, so I will, of course, think about it more and maybe do another video about this. But I kind of want to get the message out to you guys. Uh, I think what you, you have to differentiate Waxworks, of course, with the different, well, Waxworks. Uh -huh. Duh, because they're so different. <laughs> well, yeah, mine is kind of fun. Uh, let's take Egypt, for example. One thing I didn't like in Egypt was these one door. I think that connected the first to the second level. Mainly because there was no hint on what was actually going on there. I mean, you can make this a general thing. Like, don't, don't make puzzles without giving hints. Or hints at all. I mean, barely any hints. I mean... That's kind of this thing with a puzzle. You kind of need to, to know what's going on, why you are doing this, and so on and so forth. And just having like a, a something that just instantly kills you if you do something wrong, that's not good. In my opinion, not good game design. I mean, that's something you can do, of course. And that was acceptable, kind of acceptable in the past, but I highly doubt that if you like take a one-to-one -one copy of X works today, that, that, that wouldn't work out. Um, what was else in Egypt? Well, okay, I had some guards AI kind of stopping. <laughs> that was uh, that was not good. I think the combat in general would be something I would like to have changed or have different. Maybe a little bit more actiony, like you you do the strikes and you do the blocks with the mouse or so, like white right mouse button parries an attack left attacks and the enemy can parry or block whatever i can't elvira didn't have a bad combat system if i remember correctly i think the combat system of exorc was kind of like you kick it out on the balls until one falls over which is not the best combat system but again i kind of forgot about it huh. So yeah, the combat system is definitely something that needs improvement in my opinion. <laughs> Especially for the graveyard. <laughs> oh god, I have so many people giving me shit because I didn't decapitate the zombies. That's also something. Um, if you have different hitboxes, make it visible that you are actually hitting them. Like I said, people were giving me so much shit that I didn't attack the... Uh, the head of the zombies because I was doing the same attack animation no matter if I attack the limbs or attack the head if I had make like a swing from left to right or so then I saw okay I'm doing something else it is effectively doing something differently that would have helped <laughs> you know in knowing that I actually attacking their head now or doing something different that would have been helpful. Um, graveyard scene itself, mm, yeah, it, it looked too samey in my opinion. 
that was kind of my problem mainly with the graveyard scene. And you kind of needed to know exactly where you had to go first to get a weapon in order to protect yourself from the zombies. Um, other than that, I can't complain too much of the gra about the graveyard scene. I mean, the good thing about wax works, and that definitely could have more are the gruesome scenes. <laughs> I think that's the main reason people played Waxworks. They have this, this gruesome, this decapitated head laying there or something. And Elvira 1 and 2 had a lot of them and they were pretty good. They were, I think that's, that's definitely something that needs a lot, like a lot of gore. <laughs> Waxworks for me is kind of like a B-movie, a B-horror B movie. You you don't really play it for the plot or so, but you really play it for the scene, the, the gruesome scenes, like the the girl with the chest open and the heart still pounding. Yeah, that's the stuff that, yeah, that definitely needs improvement. <laughs> or more of it. That's why I kind of like the mines, because they had some pretty gruesome scenes going on with the plants and so on and so forth. Um, I can't say too much negative things about the mines, they were pretty okay, I mean, yeah, okay, you had these, these pots that, those traps, but I wouldn't say that you should get rid of them. I, they were also in Egypt, those little, uh, like this wire on the floor that you had to click and evade first. I mean, it gave you this little bit of, um... You still had to be careful. You couldn't just go willy nilly with running around and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's definitely good. What I also liked, I mean, the leveling system was fine. A little bit arbitrary sometimes, maybe make this easier to digest. But I kind of liked it that you could do the wax works however you felt like. Like the levels didn't go over because if if you do this, you might as well just have a linear game. Like, oh yeah, you need to be kind of level 10 in order to succeed in uh, the mines. So you have to start with Egypt. That wasn't the case in Maxworks. Maybe, maybe even go so far that you can switch. I don't know how this would work out. Like, you, 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 you try a wax work and then you get stuck there and then you go out of it and try another one. Until you succeed there. I wouldn't necessarily do crossover puzzles, like you need something from London in order to defeat Egypt. But, you, so you're not stuck in Egypt. That, of course, you kind of have to save the progress of your level there also. Or, pff, I don't know, get rid of level altogether. It wasn't that important in the game. <laughs> I don't know. So... Yeah, that's, like I said, just my opinion. If you guys have different opinions, of course, share them. Uh, London. I kind of left this for last, because London was my least favorite Maxwork. That, that was just horrible, in my opinion. I mean, you had this huge amount of items. A lot of them were red herrings. Um, useless. That's what a red herring is. <laughs> a useless item that you can pick up, but you can't do anything with it. And maybe it was because I was playing from a walkthrough, but I kind of had no idea what exactly I was doing in London. Like, I did so many things, collecting things and so on and so forth, but the end result kind of fell flat for me. I mean, first of all, I didn't know where to start, and then I was suddenly climbing roofs and breaking into buildings, and getting items to, to. I, I think it was something like I had to figure out where another prostitute was that had a meeting with the Whipper because she she wanted revenge or something, and then of course you had to get your cane and fight him but still it, it kind of felt I don't know and of course having like having two let's say monsters that insta kill you the policeman and the mob was also kind of especially when everything looks samey I don't know that wasn't fun London wasn't fun at all for me I really dislike the London Lex work 
That's like my least favorite thing. I really like, like I said, the mines. If, if, if you want a good example of a good thing, the mines. I kind of like the this getting all these different people together, getting help from them, kind of like um, checkpoints or so. Like the one girl tells me, oh yeah, you have to go there to find this guy and he had a tool that I needed to carry on and find another guy. That was kind of okay. I kind of like the monsters there. The feeling of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Like I said, the, the, if I if I have to wait them, like in a uh, in a way, I would say the mines were the best one, followed relatively closely by Egypt. With a little bit of distance, graveyard, and then a huge distance at the end, London. So yeah. Um, then of course, the, well, kind of the final wax works quotation mark where you had to kill the witch before they make the ritual. I'm not a big fan of uh, time-based puzzles where you have, first have to figure out what you have to do, and the time limit is so close that you will die anyways. I don't know. Of course, it gives you another reason to show a gory scene, but uh, uh, I kind of like the back. Uh, the law behind it that's huge quotation marks law that like you know, a witch cursed everyone who had like twins I don't know but maybe it would have helped more if um, you had found out that you have a boss and you didn't know it immediately but yeah, that's speculation I don't know but, like I said I did play Waxworks for the story <laughs> <laughs> I played Waxworks to see the gory scenes and so, so I don't really care too much about the lore behind it. Um, other than that, yeah, it was a pretty good adventure game. It had its flaws, it had its positives. But I'm kind of hoping to get a lot more input from you guys, from my viewers. I will let Das know. He may, may know this. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So we shall see, we shall see, okay? Okay. I thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see each other soon. So take care and goodbye.